uh, we were here in France. That's the second time already this year. And of course, uh, home GP is always something different. Um, but yeah, some riders uh, seem to have a problem to deal with it. But in Tom's case, usually it has worked quite well. Um, and also he learned over the years to uh, to deal with the pressure a little bit. And, and he's so focused on the, on the championship, so he can kind of close off the fact that yeah he's at home you know for him we tried to we tried to get an approach that it's just another race you know theoretically mathematically if he wins all motors and and, and uh, Iago finishes all motors second Iago will still be the champion but there's a few more guys out there so um, we don't want to take it too mathematically we just want to go for the win and, and yeah we have to wait and see a little bit what happens after that We will even at the end of the start straight it still sounds like you've got a little bit of Yeah, we will we will check again a little bit with the RPM but if you have a good feeling I think we can try. Yes. Oh, good. It's a lot of uh, lot of fun so I'm I'm happy to be here. It's uh, I think my last GP in Europe, let's say. Okay, Turkey is also uh, not so far but uh, in the last GP, I think in front uh, of the friends uh, from France, so it's nice. Track is looking good. I, I had great feeling. I finished P2 now on the time practice. So yeah, I have good feeling. I need to do a good quality race, and uh, we are ready for tomorrow. Yeah, I think it's always as a mechanic, it's super cool when you have a French rider in France. You know, there's not not too many crowds like the French, so it's super cool, mate. I think they're going to go uh, more left. Yeah, but I go first gate so inside. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you Just can. Straight, and if I do good, yeah, yeah. I open a bit. Like, yeah, you can always open also a little bit if you go out of the gate and, and open yeah. a little bit, you know? Yeah. Take, 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 yeah, take the first one for today, and then we can still see for tomorrow, you know? Uh, we take first gate uh, today, and then we can still see if we really think it's not good enough, then we can still see for tomorrow. But. So I say, okay, yeah. I'm gonna ride easy, but then you push at the end, I was not so much yeah. in the rhythm. Yeah, know? I told them, yeah, this, this you need to remember for tomorrow, I told them. Yeah. That if no, you, if, I, I, yeah, yeah, I no, that's what on. I mean. If you're in the same situation, you need on yeah. because it's more easy to stay focused when no, you push. It's just a breaking zone that I do easy, you know? Yeah, yeah. And push a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. How was it all? Yeah, it was good. Just finished a quality race and uh, I won it, so uh, it's yeah. nice in front of the fan from Francis. Uh, it's so it's cool. Good. It was a good race. Benistan was pushing me, but uh, yeah, it was a good race for, for tomorrow. I feel good for tomorrow. Well, just I, 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 I've just told him now, stay focused and relax because this is the key. Not so much, mate. Everything's ready. Waiting on Tom. Last minute, like always. Here we go. It's a lot of fun, huh? I think even today on Sunday is even more than yesterday. It's a little bit more pressure, let's say, but uh, you know, if you crash, you say like, F yeah, it's not so good to crash in front of them. But uh, no, I think I just want to have fun and uh, enjoy it. Uh, track is looking nice, so uh, just want to go out there and, and have fun. Tu vois, il y a un trou quand même de ça. Mais bien moi. Ouais, je comprends ce que veut dire. Il est à droite. Chad, on s'en fout, non On est mieux, non C'est dire qu'il y avait un souci, il est là-bas. Tu le commandes Ouais, ouais. Ouais, regarde, il te regarde. Ah, mettons. But it's not, it, yeah, but it's not a pro. I think it's, it's a little dip, but it's good to know. But also it's more dry, so I think it's more fast also. But just watch it in the sighting map, yeah. Thibaut Bélistan à l'intérieur et c'est venu 
de l'extérieur, ouais, Timon est en deuxième. Yeah, it's a bit weird in sector four and one. Tom really reels into the boy. He's really in the rear wheel, but also Iago is there. Now he's trying, yeah, he's trying for the lines to keep Yagi off more or less, rather than following the ball, of course. The corner into the wave storm, that's the only place where you somehow you were struggling, eh? You... At the end, we found the line. Yeah. It was a, a line next and... Yeah. yeah. Gain a lot, eh? But okay, it was a little bit more because you you had to hit the rut and then like try to find the traction. Yeah, it's difficult race. It's not so much happened up front to be honest, but uh, these three guys gave it all and, and there was just no way around for none of them, luckily. Uh, enough mistakes seen from all three riders, but that tells you they're all on the edge and yeah. Luckily, everybody stayed on the bike. I think you you need to take okay. yeah cut off and and put uh, put something on. Your mom is gonna take care. Eh? Is that, but since when you have that? No, huh? no. Oh, no. Yeah, I was being Benista on the old moto. I start second and the track is so difficult to pass. And Yago was pushing behind me. We were the old three together on the old moto. I was so scared to change the lines. Yeah, I tried to pass Thibaut, but also that if Yago passed me, I knew that it was almost impossible to pass again because track is it's one line, all track. And um, yeah, second is okay. Try to, to make Ultra second moto and win the, the second one. That's how it be good. Yeah, a little bit. Like, I, I open a little bit here. I was I was not so comfortable, you know, like I the all moto was behind. Yago was pushing me and Thibaut was just in front of me. I couldn't do so much. But uh, yeah, I know what, I need to have a great start in second moto and then uh, try, try to take the win. Number one is uh, fuel, fresh air filter. Um, check the spokes, check your chain tension, whack a new clutch in it, and then just run over all the nuts and bolts. And if he has a crash or if he has an issue during the motor, obviously fix that and then quite simple really. Normally if you've done your homework, then uh, between the races, it's just a few checks and little bits and pieces. I mean, it's so freaking cold, you know, having your fans here, you know, and he's like, he's being loved, you know, so, so it might be such a great feeling, you know, like just being, you know, like here with your fans and stuff around you, like, couldn't be better, you know, so it might be such a, mo like, a motivation, you know, like, so to be here, so it's cool. Oh, 
not so bad, Pokey. I was glad when that one was over, mate. Holy. A few points in the pocket is always good. Yeah, not so bad. But <laughs> not so bad, but very hard. You know, for being a coach or team manager is uh, definitely more hard than being a rider. You were on the side of the track and it's. It looks like it takes for ages, you know, like uh, for even the championship's not over, but you know, you're you're making up some good points and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, that's stressful. I can tell you, sorry to the words. <laughs> Important day today. Awesome ride, really awesome ride from Tom Vial, and uh, we bounced back heavy. We bounced back, yeah. He did all he could. Second race, flawless, really good. Start to finish, I'm proud of him, very proud. Boy, oh, it's so sick. Got all the, I don't know how many people here singing the national anthem, two French riders in the podium, Tom on the top step, unreal. Not so bad. Well, it was a good weekend. Uh, you know, after the first moto, I was struggling a little bit, but uh, I had a great start. And uh, after a few laps, I was feeling so good, so I make quite a gap on Tibo, I think eight or 10 seconds, and I just controlled the race. It was so nice to win in front of so many fans from France. And uh, yeah, what's special GP for me? Maybe last one year in Europe before quite some time I'm leaving to the US. So uh, what's special to me to win? I'm so happy. Thanks a lot to, to everyone in the team, to also all the people, my family, everybody who helped me a lot. Thanks a lot. Well, Valet, how was that? This, this could be was Tom's, that? Tom's last ever race in, in Europe. Yes. You know, he's been amazing. I can only say he's the number one. Uh, it's, uh, you know, of course, everybody is good, but uh, Tom is one step uh, better than everybody else. And uh, he deserves everything because uh, he's tough uh, mentally, physically, and he never, he never give up, you know. And uh, not so many riders are so strong as he is. And uh, yeah, chapeau. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a, it's a sad thought and also an exciting thought knowing what he's got coming up in America. But, you know, I think we're all going to miss having Tom on the team. And he's a joy to work with his family. A race in France with everyone here like this. So, uh, yeah, definitely not something I'm going to forget anytime soon and going to miss a lot for sure. Yeah, it was, it was a special one. I really wanted to win there. It's got seven more and especially the GP here. Yeah, for sure, it's the last one, I think, uh, for a long time that I'm going to ride in France, so um, it was nice. I win both GP this year, uh, before in any, yeah, more or less uh, beginning of the year, and now uh, end of the season, uh, another GP, so yeah, it's special always, you know, like you have seen, there's so many fans there from France, and uh, just amazing. It feels so good. Yeah.